Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. I'm super happy to be back after actually nearly three days without videos on YouTube. Just before saying hello to Mo, I explain you in a few words why I did not. I was always busy. I was always busy on Tuesday, no, on Wednesday, sorry. On Wednesday, I was on a Juventibus with JB Live. And then on Thursday, I started my big, big, big first show officially. And now it's officially it's the first time I talk about it on Juventus. Because from now on, every Thursday, you will see me together with my co-host Marco officially on Twitch of Juventus and we did the first episode it was amazing it was crazy but it was a week of emotions week of emotion because you have to prepare you have to be sure that it's ready working a lot to make sure that everyone is happy with the show it was fantastic guys so I hope to see you next week there and then today so many work because I have a real real full-time job so work family uh, but we are here again. Why? Because my great friends Moi said, Giuseppe, I prepared Napoli. It's an extremely important game. Pirlo, in press conference, he said the same. I heard some rumors on a Twitter by some journalists like Guido, that's right, for uh, Tutosport, that was saying that apparently a corridor rumor said, if we win versus Napoli, nobody can stop us anymore. And that would be beautiful. And that's why Mo, he will explain us how we can beat Napoli today. How are you doing, Mo? I'm doing great. And you, Giuseppe? Well, uh, yeah, exhausted. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> yes. But I'm happy that, uh, um, that the first one went well. Because it's a it's a big honor, but also a big responsibility. Uh, so I'm super happy. The first one is gone, and now we have the structure. We have an idea. Now we boom, 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 boom. We started with Argentina. I know how to do mate, for example. Now <laughs> I just need to go to the store to buy some things that will give me a bit more energy. But uh, no, happy, happy, and happy to be back uh, for sure. Uh, even if it was like nearly three days, and from tomorrow we continue again with the news and with all the things that uh, we have to do. Also, a whole time post game reaction, we continue with the normal uh, standard. Absolutely, and so just I'm on behalf proud. of everyone watching, we're proud of you. <laughs> we're proud of you. Thank you all. Thank you all. So for the people that watch for, for that join for the first time, because we all we have new people, by the way, thank you because we reach 11. No, oh no, sorry. We already, no, that's not the full. It's here. 11,100 people. So thank you for that. Uh, what we are doing with Mo is we go to the expected 11 after an image of history who we think that will play. Then we go to the strength, weaknesses, opportunity, threat of the game, and we finish with a beautiful prediction time of Mo. So that's what we do. We start immediately with history, Mo. Absolutely. So this, this is uh, a very historic moment. Uh, Maradona, he played against a great Juventus back then. Uh, Juventus during the 80s was amazing. We won the Champions League. Uh, we won so many trophies and all that. And in this game in 1985, he scored a very beautiful uh, free kick against mm. us. So it was 1-0. And now in honor of the new stadium, it's the same stadium, but now it's called Maradona. That's why I picked this picture. It's the first time that we play in the renamed stadium, eh? because we play for yeah. sure the old name but uh with maradona it's the first time so i'm curious to see tomorrow again pity that we don't have supporters uh players of juventus arrived at 8 p.m just for your information of the people that are watching they traveled so everything is okay we traveled to napoli eh? we arrived we were at hotel at 8 p.m so the game uh, at least we will go there we will we will try to play let's see if napoli join or not uh <laughs> <laughs> what about the ranking, uh, Mo? Let me check. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we're doing really good now. Huh? We we did a lot of progress uh, uh, since you know, like January, uh, and since the loss against Inter, it has been uh, really, really impressive. Like what Juventus has done and what Pirlo has done with this team. It's uh, we're like three wins here. We won the Super Coppa. We won the Coppa Italia. You know, so it's it's going great for us. But it's February is a very crucial month. We said that about January, but this month is even 
tougher because we're going to start Champions League very soon. Yeah. We have to get as many points as we can. We're getting there. We're third now. We still have a game in hand, but we can catch them up. So let's yeah. not give up yet. A bit of reverse situation with uh, the beginning of uh, the league where we were behind Napoli. Now they have uh, 37 points. We have 42. We still have yeah. to play a game versus them. Uh, but they are sixth. Now we are third. That's already a repetitive. I believe tomorrow tomorrow is a really decisive one. Eh? A really, really For important sure. one. Because if, if they lose, then Atalanta can go also and, and take uh, one step ahead. And I think this is another prediction. If they lose, Gattuso could leave. It it can be. Huh? I saw it also in the papers that he was risking. For me, it's totally not correct because you can't judge a trainer because he loses versus Juve or he wins versus Juve, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't change at the end. You can't judge just on one game. So if you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Now we know that their relationship is not okay. Yeah. And you're trying to like reason with De Laurentiis. And we know this guy is just crazy. Mm. <laughs> I uh I will not speak out about that. Uh, <laughs> if you see the lineup, because you prepared something, how how does it look like? Yeah, so it's very close to how we played against them in the Supercoppa. Uh, but we have a lot of players that will be absent. So Bonucci will not be there. That's but why we he have will, the He will travel. Eh? He's uh, he's uh, in the squad lead, but yes. you are correct. He will not play. He will not start, for sure. So De Ligt will start instead of him. I picked Sandro instead of Danilo this time. Uh, because he's available and he can play on the left. He's much better. Chiesa on the left, not my favorite choice for Chiesa, but, uh, you know, I prefer him there than Bernardeschi. Bernardeschi would come in the second half. In the middle, again, we don't have a lot of options. Ramsey's out. Yeah. Uh, Artur is out. We don't know for how long. Uh, and then up front, it's uh, Ronaldo and Morat. I saw as well that uh, uh, that can be really the formation. Why? Also because uh, uh, they want Morata to be 100% versus Porto. And how do you get Morata 100% is really let him play, 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 play. Just one word about Kulusevski also today. Pirlo said it. Eh? I was the one that asked Kulusevski that, to do a really big defensive job. And he did it really great. But yeah. for sure that didn't help him in being really spectacular offensively. So, you know, yeah. what we were speaking about, about the job of Kulusevski uh, makes sense. Huh? For sure. I agree completely. In defense, it's it's the same thing. The 4-4-2, we're going to see. And they have to be, uh, you know, extremely alert on how Napoli will play because I'm going to show their formation right now. They're going to be super offensive. Mm. If you see, uh, last time we had uh, Zielinski instead of Insigne. Yeah. Now we have like three, four forwards, basically. Osimen, Politano, Insigne, and Lausanne. All these guys are very dangerous. Zielinski, he went to the back because they make is, is absent. They have a lot of uh, players that are not there. His size is not there. Um, you have also Kulibari, which is super important for them, is not there. Manolas also uh, is not there. So in, in defense, they're going to be very weak, but offensively, they're going to just give it all. So we yeah. have to watch out. But what, what do you think before going into the, the tactics? Do you think that Juventus will take uh, a waiting uh, behavior like we saw, for example, with Roma? We gave them the ball, uh, but we won to zero versus Inter when uh, we didn't need it to, you know, to score. Zero, zero was perfect for us. Yeah. We gave them the ball and we waited, you know? Or you think that we will go like the games before when we will go 100% uh, pressing, high pressing. W what's your idea? Waiting or I pressing? Think we're we're going to press. We're going to press high uh, because right now Napoli is not in a good shape. They're not uh, 
mentally they're tired they're not happy with the current situation they lost against atalanta so yeah we have to they lost against genoa you know yeah right? so we with have two, to press high and score with two beautiful goals of uh, goran pandev <laughs> Get, get, but they are they are still strong. They have some strengths. And we start immediately with the first one. Of course. So I only analyze the Supercopa because it's the latest yeah. memory. Uh, you know, we played against them. We can learn a lot from, from that game. Uh, I I would have loved to analyze the the other game as well, but we never played against them the first time. So uh <laughs> So here, uh, in the 28th minute, we, we have Demme, surrounded by four Juventus players. McKinney, Kulusevski, Artur, and Quadrado. And he was still able to go inside the box. And just next to them, you have Insigne and Rui by themselves. So, you know, defensively during, at, at, at this time was not great. You know, so it, it was really... Uh, there was some a lot of errors there, defensively. McKenny tried to pressure him, but it was too late, mm -hmm. and he was able to cross. And you had Danilo and Lozano there. So this is uh, one weakness of Danilo that he needs to improve, is defending. You need to go in front of, of your striker. Because Lozano, he's not going to miss that. He's going to go and, and had, try to head it in. And of, I just put this picture because it was an amazing save by, by Tech. So, you know. I think great. It speaks for itself. They have another one also as well, eh? other strength. They have another strength. So this is at the 93rd minute. Mm. We could have, uh, they could have scored again against us. You know, it was very dangerous. Politano was there. You had Bernardeschi on him. Ronaldo was trying to provide some support. And Politano was able to dribble and go in. And Bernardeschi was way behind. You had Di Lorenzo that went in. Lozano was there. Uh, Arthur came to support and Javier as well. But Politano was still able to pass it to Lozano, and Lozano uh, shot another goal and an amazing save by by Chesney. I remember that, that just I before the goal was scored. That, uh, Chesney was the best of the game eh? uh, that oh, day. Yeah. So l luckily, because you see it, and defensive error since we did a lot of progression. Because I believe you have not wrong in the last eight game. No, I, I don't. I don't have the statistics by heart. But I believe that we we conceded like only seven goals in the last so many games. So we increased really a lot. And whoever plays, and uh, Kelin, yeah. Bonucci, Demiral, or the league, we are doing really great. It was seven uh, clean sheets in the last games, and uh, we we are doing really great, really great. Absolutely, absolutely. What I are, remember uh, when we started, we were getting at least a goal every game. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. Especially one. when we scored. Yeah. What are what are they uh, weak at? Yeah. So weakness and our opportunity, I combine both together. Here you have Danilo, uh, who pressured and right away uh, took the ball and ran. Uh, at the back. Here you have also Chiesa and Kulusevski and Ronaldo forming that uh, trio. They're ready to, to attack if, uh, you know, like um, Danilo was able to take the ball. So that's, that's really important uh, for us. And that was at the 11th minute. So uh, Danilo was able to go. Uh, McKenny was helping him there because Deme was on him. And he passed the ball to Kulusevski. Here you see that uh, Manolas, Koulibaly, and Rui, they were forming that line, but Di Lorenzo was not there. So that was a, a great opportunity. Kulusevski was really smart because he saw Danilo also penetrate in that box. He passed the ball, but uh, unfortunately he was offside. But yeah. you see yeah. the triangle. This is the triangle that we need to do. The dotted... Uh, yellow line, which is the pass to Kulusevski, 
Danilo running inside the box, that's the dotted red line, and then Kulusevski passing the ball to him. So this, these triangles can easily uh, beat the, the defense. And here they had Manolas and Koulibaly, you know, the two starters. Something very similar, uh, and that was at the beginning of the second half when Bernardeschi started. He passed the ball to McKenney. And that's why I put McKenney as an important player for us. These penetrations in the box will be very crucial. So you can see here Bernardeschi to McKenney. McKenney, he went in and he passed the ball. And right away, Kulusevski was there and Bernardeschi as well. And unfortunately, Bernardeschi shot, but it was saved. It was a really nice save by Reina on the line. And then we have yeah. another one. The last one, just for the pleasure of it, because when we're going to score, see, I'm confident that we're, we will score tomorrow. When we're going to score, they're going to push high, and this is where we can hurt them. And this is what happened at the 94th minute. Artur was really smart. He passed right away to Morata, and Morata passed it to Cuadrado. And you can see Ronaldo uh, getting ready right away. So you have three against one. Insigne is not a defender even. You know, he's in the wrong spot. And it was pretty easy. Cuadrado passed the ball to Morata, and Morata scored. It was a beautiful goal. I love it because you, you, you really see how, how much Cuadrado is running with his body. I love it. That's just, I love that one. Who do we have to take uh, to pay attention to? Because I think last time, I don't remember, I think you said uh, Insigne. Uh, yeah. Did you, yeah. Did, who, who did you change? Did you change? Yeah. I changed. Insigne is still very dangerous, for sure. Uh, but Chucky Lozano is going to be very dangerous as well. And, you know, there were talks before that, you know, uh, Juventus could sign him and all that. At the end, he went to Napoli. And the funny part, why is he called Chucky? Everyone knows, like, Chucky the movie. He, uh, when he was in Mexico, he used to scare his teammates. Oh, because, so he, because, he, was, because he was ugly or because uh, no. he, he, he was making some pranks? He was making pranks. He was scaring them. Chucky. So they called him Chucky. Chucky. El Chucky. Lozano. El Chucky. El Ch I hope that tomorrow he will not scare scare us that much. Uh, he's, he scored nine goals as much as Insigne. So, you know, he's he's been doing great this year for them. It's, it's because I know that you have some affinity with Mexico, uh, Mo. <laughs> this time. Oh, man. Okay. 2-0 uh, Juve. Again. Who, who scores? Uh, Ronaldo and McKenny. Oh. Hey, you know, I had also good feelings of McKenny, but uh, I will pay attention to a last minute. Last minute can be the last 10, 15 minutes. Decisive goal from outside the box after a corner of the number 30 of Juventus, Bentancur. Do you think he'll he, listen to Pirlo and finally shoot? He will He will finally shoot, I think. They trained that because we all saw right, the fact that he, he was really well positioned versus Inter. He decided to pass. Uh, wait, wait, I have a good feeling. Decisive goal. Bentancur in the last 15 minutes from a corner that was deflected that comes to him. Boom. And we go 1-0 to Tia Casa. Grazie to all the people that were following. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we see each other tomorrow for uh, probably the news. And then we'll speak about the halftime and full time as always. Thank you for following. Thank you for liking the video. And don't forget, uh, you go to Twitter, you follow Chehali because this is standard. That's the basic, at least what we can do. Thank you, Mo, for your time. And uh, as always, I leave you closing the channel. So thank you, everyone. And thank you to all who wrote Forza Juve last time. Uh, I've seen all of them. Thank you for that. 
means you watched the full video. Uh, thank you to Giuseppe. Look, he's, we're proud of him. You know, it's a new milestone and I'm expecting much more. And uh, don't hesitate to put your comments, uh, to put like, subscribe, and everything. So thank you, everyone. I have to say and, something. I have oh, to say something. Ahead. Yes. Uh, and it's true. Huh? A few months ago, and I think we already said it, Mo, but I wanted to repeat it. A few months ago, or a lot of months ago, Mo said to me, you will see you will work for Juventus one day. And I said, no, it's not possible. You know, it makes no sense. And uh, no, thank you, Mo, because from El Tactico, you became El Predictico. I wanted to say that. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> Ciao to everyone. Ciao.